UK-based law firm Whale Rock Legal is advising all companies who import to or export from Iran that sanctions have been imposed on one of its main providers of port services, placing significant further restrictions on trade within the Persian Gulf nation. The US government has added port operator Tidewater Middle East to its specially designated national list on the basis that the company's ports have been used to export arms and related material in violation of the United Nations Security Council resolutions. Tidewater is allegedly part owned by the Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, also known as IRGC, which is itself subject to both EU and UN sanctions. This means that Tidewater itself is not subject to EU sanctions. Companies and individuals in the EU will probably be unable to make payments to the company if the information about its ownership and control is correct. Tidewater is also owned by Meher Bank, which is already subject to EU sanctions because it is controlled by the IRGC. Moving on, German Steve Doring firm HHLA is introducing self-service check-in systems at its container terminal Altenwerder CTA in Hamburg in a bid to cut in waiting times and achieve faster processing. The self-service units allow truckers to check in standard containers within around 130 seconds. Truckers just need to validate an identity card and complete container data to use the system. CTA has also installed eight of the self-service units, which were supplied by Belgian manufacturer Pamco, which has already introduced a similar system in Antwerp. After an initial voluntary test phase at the CTA, self-service processing at standard containers became obligatory in mid-June. At the HHLA, the response among the approximately 2,000 truckers calling daily at CTA has been favorable. That's all the news making waves as of now. Thank you for watching.